Good morning. I'm just going to work on uh, using up some paint leftovers this morning. I'm going to do a bottle cap pour with this cap, which is a rather interesting shape. It should make some nice patterns when I pour. And I want to leave the center of the canvas free because hopefully I'll do a center swipe when I've done with the pour and we'll see how that turns out. So the leftover colors I'm using are a nice bright primary yellow, cobalt blue and a very dark cobalt violet blue. I'll also be using white. So we'll start the pour <coughs> with uh, I think the dark cobalt and we will layer up the paints and see how they go. Okay, so pouring on top of the cap. And letting the paint flow down. And as you see it will form little puddles. And as I add layers, that should and it's become more obvious in the pattern that shows. Here we go with some yellow. Some of the paler blue. I've thinned my paints down a little since yesterday because of the heat. So hopefully they will flow easier. Okay, and maybe a little white in here. the darker color. It forms quite nice patterns just <laughs> flowing down the side of the bottle cap. And I think we'll finish with a little of the, the dark blue again. Mm. I'll just go and retrieve a glove for picking up the bottle cap. I don't want it to drip on the, the forest stands. So I'm spending my Sunday morning just going through my paints and seeing what I need to mix for the coming week. And as I filled my bottles I had a little over. Okay. And the paint is somewhat flowing back into the centre a little, but I want to fill that now with a puddle of white. <coughs> Looks like a flower, it's quite pretty. Taking it a bit this way, just to stretch out the paint a little bit. I'm trying not to lose a nice round centre 
go to the right and back again to the left. Paint is flowing much better now that I have thinned it a little yesterday, so it's very thick and difficult to move. Okay. It can be a challenge to maintain the, the centre sometimes, but I'm happy enough with that at the minute. Some way to the edges so I can swipe right out to the edges when I start. I'm going to do central swipe on this. Yeah, not something I've tried before, so it should be interesting. Okay, so nice clean spatula. Or should I say palette knife? I'm thinking in a culinary mode this morning, and I'm going to swipe out from the centre. Across the paint. In the same in this direction. Oh. Across the top. And here we go this way. Across the top. And this way. See some of the colours are starting to show through the through the white. Give it another little. I'm going to take it off in these directions now. Okay. Very therapeutic on a Sunday morning. Oh dear, I think I have a little crater over here. Okay, just need a little more tissue. I can't, don't know, can you see the cells starting to form? Unfortunately, I moved and pulled paint across there. I didn't intend to pull, but not to worry. Okay, I'm going to give these a wee swipe out too. I'm not adding anything extra here, I'm just taking out the centre. Just wee bits. Oh. I'll pop a few bubbles and see. Oops, I moved the tissues. And see how things are going. Safety off. Hmm. I kind of like where the white has. On top, I think it looks prettier. I'm going to have to puddle pour in the centre just to give it a bit of colour now and then. Hmm. Oh, not too bad. 
see what we have left of the main covers here. Did we put a pole in the center? Oops. So we got the last of the paint. Or it's just simply forming a puddle <laughs> of the paint you're using and then stretching it. So I'm just using the last of this. Sometimes it's fun just to use up the remnants of paint and colour combinations that maybe you don't always use. Just to see how they work out. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Some of those are actually stretching it very nicely. along here. My fingers are getting quite murky. <laughs> I'm liking how that's working now. I'm almost regretting that puddle pour now. <laughs> I will try swiping over the puddle. See if that resolves the situation a little bit. I'm liking that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's producing some lovely cells there. It's good to see that cells can be produced even without the use of silicone. These here, they're very pretty. I don't want to lose this over the edge though. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I shall leave well enough alone now. That was a fun use of some leftover paints this morning. Hope you enjoyed that video. Do drop back again for another one soon. Bye bye.